Cabinet has agreed this week that we will be introducing a clean car standard. Um, that it is on the timetable that some in the industry consider to be ambitious, but it needs to be. We also have to act on clean car standards because we run the risk of being the world's dumping ground. If we persist to be a country without standards, the rest of the world will send their less efficient, dirtier cars to New Zealand. We can't let that happen. The second decision that we're here um, announcing today is around um, mandating for the use of biofuels. 60 other countries around the world have done the same and it's high time that New Zealand did too. This offers us the benefit of reducing down our emissions simply by what we fill up our cars with. Of course we want to encourage the uptake of EVs. Of course we want to see that transition in the use of things like hybrids in the meantime, but adding biofuels into the mix also helps us reduce our emissions along the way. Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch at the local government level have already committed to decarbonising their bus fleets and all have signalled that they will need further government support to continue that rollout, especially with the impact that COVID has had on their books. We'll support regional councils with a $50 million fund over the next four years to begin the transition of approximately 2,500 public buses in Auckland, 80% of which are in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. The government will engage with the sector over the coming months about how the, that $50 million fund can be best invested and to consider innovative ways to make sure that we meet the higher upfront costs of investing in electric buses. Of course, buses alone won't get us there. Nearly 70% of transport emissions in New Zealand are from private vehicles, cars, SUVs, utes and light trucks. While we will continue to and intensify our work to give Kiwis great options to use public transport to walk or cycle as a primary means of reducing emissions. We still know that we must decarbonise our existing fleet if we want to meet our Paris obligations and the forthcoming uh, carbon budgets.